Hey guys, I'm at the uh, Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens in uh, South Fulton, Georgia. That's Fulton County, Georgia. Uh, kind of south, southwest of Atlanta. And I'm at the uh, Garden of the Saints plot. And I'm here for the grave of Whitman Mayo. You might not recognize the name, but Whitman Mayo, he was a, uh, he's an actor. And he was best remembered for playing Grady Wilson in the 1970 uh, 70s television comedy Sanford and Son. His character on the show became so popular that NBC briefly aired um, Mayo's own show called uh, Grady before. So it wasn't unfortunately as successful. Before becoming an actor, uh, um, Whitman, uh, he was a, uh, spent several years as a counselor for delinquent boys. Uh, at the time of his death, he was uh, teaching drama at uh, Clark Atlanta University. So, I think everybody remembers uh, Grady. Uh, so, he was born November 15th, 1930, and died May 22nd, 2011. Uh, like I said, Grady Wilson was his, his biggest claim to fame as an actor. He was active between 1966 and 2001 uh, for the Sanford and Son. And here we go. Whitman B. Mayo, Corporal, U.S. Army. November 1930 to May 2001. So he was born in New York City, raised in Harlem, and later Queens. At the age of 17, he moved with his family to Southern California, where he attended, uh, uh, attended and graduated school. He enlisted in the U.S. Army, and he served between 1951 and 1953 during the Korean War. Upon discharge, he... Uh, was at, uh, went to USCLA. While attending college, he began acting in small parts. He held many jobs supporting himself and his family, including waiting tables, working in the vineyards, and as a probation officer. And like I said, he spent seven years as a counselor to delinquent boys. In the early 1970s, while working in the uh, Norman Lear, or working in the theater, Norman Lear offered Mayo a role as Grady Wilson in, on Sanford and Son. Uh, so, and I think everybody knows that. Uh, this is with Red Fox, um, uh, so you know, uh, so well-known, famous actor. Um, when Red Fox did not appear on the show due to a, due to a contract uh, dispute, uh, Whitman uh, Grady, Whitman's character, started in the show for six episodes. Mayor Mayo later starred in Grady, which was an unsuccessful spin-off, in which his character moved to um, I think he moved to Beverly Hills, if I recall. Uh, it was canceled in 1976. Uh, Grady returned. Uh, Mayo's, Grady, Mayo's Grady character returned to Sanford and Son, and Mayo reprised his role in the unsuccessful 1977 spinoff, Sanford Arms, with actor uh, Theodore Wilson. And for two episodes of Stanford, another ripoff. I'm sorry, Stanford, another ripoff of Sanford. Um, so, unfortunately, he didn't quite uh, duplicate his his uh, his success. He did, you know, he did a lot of episodes in the heat of the night. Uh, I think he was in a, you know, he, he, he played a senior citizen in a movie called Volunteer, uh, an episode of Full House. Uh, kind of got resurgence in his career late night with Conan O'Brien in 1976. Spent several weeks trying to find him, trying to get him to appear on the show. And uh, set up a 1-800 number where people could call with Grady sightings. Uh, they had kind of a mocking, like, unsolved mystery type of thing. And in February 8th, 1996, Mayo appeared on the late night show with, uh, you know, you know, huge ratings on that one. Uh, he guest starred in Nickelodeon sitcom uh, Kenan and Kel. Uh, he was playing Kenan and uh, Kyra's rude uh, Uncle Raymond. He appeared in The Cape, uh, The Main Event, DC Cab, Boys in the Hood, and uh, Waterproof with Burt Reynolds. Um, so he had a little bit of resurgence there at the end. Uh, personal life here, he uh, married Melville Washington, the daughter of Clarence and Lena Washington in Los Angeles in 1956. He resided in Atlanta since 1994. He died of a heart attack on May 22, 2001 at Atlanta's Grady Memorial Hospital. His son, Ron Mayo, became a member of the Georgia House of Representatives in 2009. So, like I said, his first, first film was 1966, The Black Klansman. His last uh, film or television was... Uh, uh, Bay, A Black Woman Speaks. Uh, it was a documentary about himself. But the final film role was Boycott in 2001 with Reverend Bay, as Reverend Bayon. Bayon, that was his final role. So, long history for 
Whitman Mayo, like I said, at the end of his life, he was he was teaching um, at the local community, uh, local college here, uh, probably te- you know teaching acting and stuff. Uh, find a grave's pretty accurate. It's on the edge of the cemetery. You can find the find the fountain at the big old uh, looks like a mausoleum from here over there across the pond. He's uh, two big trees there. He's right down the hill on the way. Pretty easy to find. So there you go. Grandma Walt, uh, Whitman Mayo. Uh, Grady from Sanford and Son. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I upload about three videos a month. Every, uh, every Sunday except the second Sunday. Uh, that's when I load up some goony stuff or some seeing the sights and some, some weird attraction type stuff I've seen. Um, I do read the comments. I do try to reply when I get a chance. If you leave one, I will get to it. I won't ignore it. Um, but I do appreciate it. Uh, there's a lot better stations out there, channels out there, you know, on Fascinating Graveyards with Lamont, uh, Wit Docs, uh, Faces of Forgotten. Uh, go check those guys out. They do a much more better job than I do. But I do like the famous, the infamous, the weird, the unusual graves. So I do appreciate uh, everybody that does come by and uh, checks out one of my videos. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks.